little tighter view. Wow, look at all these cars. There's a 99. That could have been the 88 that was up there with I Dale Jr. I believe it was. That They're all black contact. primers it's, it's for the most part. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Half back to the 42 and 29. Watch the 20. Easy, 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 easy. Stay straight, stay straight. I'll tell you, Kevin Harvick, Harvick threaded the needle and really got through there. Let's have a look at our new uh, Fox cable cam. Not sure. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess Matt thought there was enough room to come down in front of Kurt Busch in the 78 car, but uh, the hole just wasn't there. There's the shot. You were wow. just talking about yeah. Kevin Harvick in that 29. He came right through there. Great job. You know, Darrell, you were talking about it. This is the thing that these teams did not need. You look at see Carl Edwards here. They lost a car in that big crash back in the January test. And Carl Edwards has lost the right side window on his car. He's being posted to come to pit road. Uh, okay. How many laps we got to go? Two. Yeah, he, I don't think, he, you know, he, they're not going to give him credit for where he's running, but I don't see him coming to pit road. Nah, you're not going to come to pit road. Not this race. Yeah, it, it just something's, something's not lining up for me. Every time I've seen an accident, although three times now I've seen an accident, the driver almost on the outside acts as if he doesn't know the driver on the inside is there. Well, it's what happened on Friday with Matt Kenseth. Right. It's what happened in the Sprint Unlimited with Tony Stewart. Right, there's something not lining up here for me. Oh, Hamlin looks like Hamlin got loose first. Not sure why. Have to look at it again. But he definitely got loose and came down into Carl Edwards' right, right rear quarter panel. Let's see if we can get a better look here. Now that's the Michael 11. Waltrip alongside Carl. Oh, the 11 just gets, he's just spinning out. He gets loose and starts to spin. Yeah, he got no help from the 21 whatsoever. He just got loose, it looked like. Is that car totaled, Carl? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I have to ask the blind obvious. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, that's the only direction it would go after I couldn't go right. I was trying real hard to get back. Yeah, around. she's torn up. <laughs> it, it's broke. Um, but now we'll go, we'll go have a. Uh, you know, a 500 and uh, try to avoid the wrecks. Like Jack said, I know what the wrecks look like now. I'm really familiar with them, so we'll go get this. Pre-crashed. Yeah, pre-crashed for the 500. I mean, how, how much better does it get than that? We'll, uh... Yeah, those six Toyota drivers, remember, they were oh, some of the Trouble's first... turn one, guys. One car down, spinning Trevor Bain up to the wall, collects another. That is Carl Edwards. The fifth wreck that Edwards has been involved in this spring. The 34 of David Reagan involved, and that's the 35 of Riverside, California's Josh Wise. We're under caution. Well, I shouldn't have got out of the line in the first place, but I can tell you riding around up there in line is not a lot of fun. So we're going down the front straightaway here, and I was just looking for a hole to get back in, and somebody got turned sideways, and I ended up running into Trevor. So frustrating. This, is, um, this has not been fun. My guys, they're not quitting, though. We're working hard. They've already told me they're ready to go to Phoenix and dominate. Do you... Uh, we're not getting held down this year. It doesn't matter how many cars we wreck here. We're fighting to the very end. We're gonna go. To, uh, we're gonna go to Phoenix now and win that thing. But it's a very frustrating day for Fastenal, and uh, now I'll just go out there and hopefully cheer on another Ford to victory.